First Alert 5 weather. It is a really warm evening across Colorado Springs. We're at 88 degrees right now. That's warmer than an average daytime high this time of the year. A few clouds out there, but still skies are blue. Most areas south breeze at the airport at 16 miles per hour. That's live from Pueblo looking out toward the Belmont area. You are still at 96 degrees. Just a light breeze out of the south right now. Humidity on the dry side. A few thunderstorms showing up on the radar scan. These are all innocuous, just producing some much needed rainfall in some areas. Absolutely nothing across I-25 right now and most of the action for the rest of the evening going to stay well west of I-25 across some of the higher elevations, some of the valleys, San Luis Valley getting a pretty good soak right now. That is uh, stretching across some of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, but again, nothing intense with the convection this afternoon moving due north thanks to that monsoon flow at about 15 miles per hour. Take a look at this. I've lived here all my life. It's really unusual to see the monsoon fire up this early in the season, but you can see very well defined. There it is coming out of Mexico, curling all the way up into Colorado. Colorado. Here's why we're getting an early monsoon this year. We've got an area of low pressure to the west of us, high pressure right in the nation's midsection. The flow around those systems scooping up that subtropical moisture and depositing right on top of the state of Colorado. And that's the fuel for those thunderstorms. That pattern is going to continue throughout the weekend. Tomorrow morning, temperatures at 9 a.m. into the 70s already. Going to see a couple of thunderstorms move off the hills tomorrow to the I-25 corridor. Again, not expecting anything severe here across Colorado Springs or Pueblo, but we could see one of those passing thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon all the way into tomorrow evening but by far most of the action well west of I-25 from the Continental Divide all the way out to the western slope where some of those areas could actually see some flash flooding due to intense rainfall. Now by Sunday again just like tomorrow it's not going to be widespread but we'll see a few thunderstorms develop and then move across parts of El Paso County, Pueblo County. Further west you are the better chance of seeing those afternoon and nighttime rain showers and thunderstorms with this current weather pattern. Temperatures today really hot. Pueblo 100 after that low of 64 in the springs. We started really warm, took it back to a high of 94 degrees, missing that all time record high by just three degrees. Updated temperatures here on News 5 at 6. The hot spot right there. La Junta 97 is your current temperature. Overnight lows tonight on the warm side. Once again, only dropping back into the 60s around here. Even hotter across parts of the lower Arkansas Valley. Tomorrow, not quite as hot. Still a hot day, but not as bad as today. Humidity values into the 20 for most of the day tomorrow. Again, look out for one of those passing PM thunderstorms. Hope you have a great weekend. Here's your super seven day forecast in Colorado Springs. Thunderstorm opportunities. We're getting get a 20 to a 30% chance from tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night. Same exact pattern for us on Sunday. A couple degrees cooler. Clouds moving in a touch earlier, I think, on Sunday. Dry for most of us on Monday. Then an upslope flow is going to contribute to more thunderstorms by Tuesday afternoon. That will be your coolest day for at least the next seven days. Pueblo, here you go. Outdoor activities get the green light this weekend. Yes, a passing PM thunderstorm possible both Saturday and Sunday, but nothing that will wipe out any plans. I've got late day thunderstorms in the mix on Tuesday and a pretty good looking group of temperatures for this time of the year. Summer officially rolls in on Tuesday morning at 314 AM and that'll be the coolest day of the next seven. Canyon City, you're closer to that monsoon plume, so a better chance of getting some of that liquid gold. And by Tuesday with that upslope flow, that'll actually enhance precip opportunities. Get it while the getting's good. That's my theory. Woodland Park, a beneficial pattern change with that early monsoon cranking out the thunderstorms. Wetter, of course, is better, helping to mitigate that ever-present fire danger. Just be cautious of that dangerous cloud-to-ground light.